Hello. This is the Mako MA27 audiometer that you might have in your clinic. I'm going to refresh you on how to use the equipment today. This is the power button. When you push it in, the light should glow red. These two buttons control the type of tone you're presenting. This button is a pulse tone. Beep, beep, beep. This button is a warble tone. Woo! We prefer that you use a warble tone because it's easier to hear when background noise is present. These two buttons control where the tone is going. Right ear or left ear. We always start on the right ear. This button presents your tone. When you depress the button, the light lights up. You will want to present a tone from one to two seconds. When you're presenting your tones, you will want to vary your rate because if you get into the habit of they'll raise their hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Pretty soon they're just raising their hand. So you'll want to make sure that some of your presentations are close together and some of them are farther apart. This knob controls the loudness or intensity of the tone. The larger the number, the louder the sound. A student must pass at 20 dB. This knob controls the frequency or the pitch of the tone. We go from high tones to low tones. For an elementary student, you would present at, in the right ear, always start in the right, 4,000, 2,000, 1,000, 500, switch ears, 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000. For a middle school or a high school student, you would present at 6,000, 4,000, 2,000, 1,000, switch to the left ear, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. These are the earphones that come with most of our audiometers. They're double cups. They have an earphone inside of a protective cup that helps eliminate some of the background noise. Earphone placement is crucial. You'll want to put the center of the earphone directly over the opening of the student's ear. Red goes on the right ear, blue goes in the left ear. The earphones are adjustable so you can accommodate other different size heads. It should be very simple for you to fit the headband to the top of the student's head so that they fit snugly over their ears. If a student is wearing a hard plastic headband, a baseball cap, glasses, or large earrings, you may want them to take off those things before you proceed with the testing. If a student does not hear the tones at 20 dB, you may go up to 30 or 35 and give them a presentation so that they know what they're listening for, but they do need to pass at 20 dB. If a student doesn't pass the test of all frequencies at 20 dB, please contact your audiologist. Thank you so much. Bye.